What's up guys this is Vai and today I'm gonna show you how to create this amazing channel art for your YouTube channel in Photoshop and the best part is you're gonna get the free PSD file of this channel art. Cool so first of all I'm gonna show you how to create this and then I'm gonna show you how you can use the free PSD file to make your own fully customizable channel art for your YouTube channel. So let's get started okay before I begin this tutorial I want to say that the PSD file the free PSD file is password protected and I'm gonna show the password anywhere in between the video so make sure to watch the full video or else you won't be able to use it so let's get started first of all I'm gonna just delete both of them cool so this is the composition and let me just quickly show you the image size and everything so the width is 2560 pixels and the height is 1440 pixels also the resolution is 72 pixels per inch cool and I have created this guidelines that is around 500 mark and the second one is around after 1800 and this is on zero and this is on sixth mark so this is just to make a cool guideline so that you don't place your logo or any text there or there because if you write something right here it won't be displayed so you have to arrange everything in this small box right there okay so I'm gonna show you how to create this amazing channel app so first of all I'm gonna just place my this thing background texture you can download it from the link in the description okay and now I'm gonna just grab my marquee tool and I'm gonna just make a selection make sure that in view tab the snap is on and snap to is selected to guides layers and document bound cool so now I'm gonna just press the layer mask icon and I'm gonna press ctrl plus I this creates a blank space right there okay so now I'm gonna just make a solid color adjustment and I want to choose something like this kind of tone cool I'm gonna just press alt and click in between the color fill effect and the background layer so that it creates a clipping mask I'm gonna change the blending mode to color cool okay so now I'm gonna just place second texture just arrange it really quick transform it to fit cool I'm gonna change the blending mode to soft light okay go to file and place my texture layer and okay and just bring it below the background and also I'm gonna just select the layer mask of this background there press and hold the alt key and I'm gonna just drag it to this so that the layer mask gets copied to that layer as well okay I'm gonna just make it smaller so that we get the maximum texture right there okay that looks good I'm just press ctrl plus J and duplicate it and I'm gonna just place it something like so Okay, and I'm gonna just go to edit, transform, and flip horizontal. Cool. Now, as you can see, there's a harsh, fine line right there that doesn't look cool. So I'm gonna just select this layer, and I'm gonna press the layer mask icon, and I'm gonna select my brush tool right there, and with the black color selected, I'm gonna just paint off this. And I'm gonna just 
arrange it something like that arrange it something like that and I'm gonna just create another layer mask over there and I wanna just remove it from there choose the white color and just paint it zoom in a bit and just remove it really quick Okay, I'm gonna just move it somewhere around there that covers up. Cool. So we are good on our way, and I'm gonna just press the control key and select both of the layers and press control plus G to create a group. I'm gonna decrease the opacity and I'm gonna create a salt color and I'm gonna choose something like that, I guess. Cool, and I'm gonna just change the blending mode to color. Okay, let's change the color. This thing up and down looks good. I'm gonna just decrease the opacity even more. That looks good. Okay, so our channel art is complete. But if you want, you can add some text. By the way, I'm using Oswald font and make sure to download it from the link in the description if you are going to use the free psd file so i'm gonna just change the color to white and i'm gonna just type in something like um, say new video something like that cool and just paste it like so you can add images as well here and to show you that I'm gonna just place a, a logo right there just in case you wonder how to place it yeah and that's it so now I'm gonna show you how to edit and customize the channel art template that you have downloaded from the link in the description okay let me just close it and open my this thing cool so when you open it for the first time you're gonna see something like this there are two folders change this and don't touch so if you want to change the colors or the theme of this channel art then only use this don't touch folder otherwise stay away from it so I'm gonna just show you first how to change the color so the surface texture is the this thing let me just show you this lines and stuff like that that's the surface texture and to change the color just double click on this thing the color fill effect and choose the color you want so let me just see okay I'm gonna choose this color cool see the color gets changed okay the background texture is this thing this thing mm, the shape slayer the pattern that is there so to change the color of that just double click in here and change it to whatever you want and change it to this looks good okay and the mid portion is where the text appears the plexus texture okay so change the color of this as well and you can choose I don't know, maybe this that looks good okay so in three clicks we have completely changed the view of this channel app. cool okay so what if you want to change the text and these icons or add some pictures in here so there are inside the change this folder there are two more folders change text and change images first of all I'm going to show you change text to change the text like you want to add something instead of new video so just double click this T just double click this T icon of the new video like that and before you edit make sure you have the Oswald font okay so if you want to type like Sunday and just press the tick icon and see you just change the text and let's for example say you want to change this text 
so double click here and just type in like something you want I'm gonna type special episode okay you can as well change the tutorials and more text just follow the same steps I want to use on cooking cool so what if you want to change the subscribe icon or this YouTube icon or this Photoshop and Lightroom icons and place some other images okay so the only thing you need to do is just double click on the image that you want to change you know okay okay so this is the image and for example let's say you want to add some text in here instead of logo so just switch off this layer grab the text tool and I just increase the font size 500 or so I'm gonna type in by a I guess you can use anything of course you can also place any image if you want or your own logo if you want okay and I just place it somewhere on there and if you are using the text file instead of logo just make sure to click on this thing rasterize type and delete this layer now all you need to do is press ctrl plus s and save this file and boom it gets updated in here so that is the technique to change anything you want you can also change the subscribe button just do the same thing you want and you are good to go you can change the ps and lr logo as well by the same method okay Cool. So this is the password for the PSD file and this was it for today's video guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you never miss a future update. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and if you have any query regarding the PSD file or this tutorial, please use the comment section below. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.